Hello everyone, all are welcome on my YouTube channel. So today I brought for you factorization, which is taken from MathLink's book eight, from class eight. I'm going to solve unit eight algebra exercise one C, question number two, and upcoming videos related with question number three. So let's take a start. And if you are new, please subscribe, hit the bell button for notification. If you like my videos, if you understand, please hit the like button and share with your friends. Let's take a start. I'm going to do question number two. Question number 2a, m square plus 2lm plus 36. One tale I have to tell you, if first and last term, if we convert in the form of whole square, then we have to use formula of a minus b whole square or a plus b whole square. Try to convert this one. Look at first one, m square 36 means square root of 36 means 6 6 square means 36 so if you convert first and last one in the form of whole square it's easy to use formula or you can factorize also by multiplying 36 while addition 12 6 plus 6 how to find out factors i will teach you in this video only so look at first of all m is square first one whole square and last one 36 means 6 whole square we can write now in the place of a here is m in the place of b here is 6 at the middle what we have to write 2ab 2a means m and b means 6 now you can see here a square plus 2ab plus b square this is in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square what is the formula a square plus 2ab plus b square and formula of is a plus b whole square this is the formula of a plus b whole square similarly a square minus 2ab plus b square we have to convert this and uh, this is the formula of a minus b whole square so a square minus 2ab plus b square so we can write here uh, this look at here in the place of a here is m 2 in the place of a m in the place of b 6 plus b square means 6 square so what we have to write a plus b whole square in the place of a what is here m in the place of b what is here 6 so m plus 6 whole square completed so it's very easy uh, if if first and last term can we convert in the form of whole square then we can use either a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square look at this one this also we can convert x square already here in the place of 16 we have to write full whole square 4 square means 16 so we can write here x whole square plus and at last here 16 means 4 whole square at the middle what we have to write 2ab it means 2 in the place of a what is here x in the place of b what is here 4 so when you multiply this 2 we get 8x only 4 into 2 8 now this is in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square formula of a plus b whole square so a means x plus b means what is here 4 so x plus 4 whole, whole square hope you understand this look at next number c and another thing this also we can convert in the form of whole square this also we can convert in the form of whole square but if common first of all we have to take common after that convert into formula or factorize here we can take 4 common m square plus 4 into which number it will 16 4 m plus 4 into 4 is a 16 now we have to convert this in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square 4 now look at here how to convert m whole square plus last one in the place of 4 we can write 2 whole square 2 square means 4 at the middle what we have to write down 2ab 2a means m b means 2 look at here when you multiply 2 into 2 it will be 4 mm same so we have to write 4 this is in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square formula of a plus b whole square so in the place of a what we have to write down m in the place of b what we have to write down 2 so m plus 2 whole square hope you understand up to here now look at this one in mathematics concentration is very important if you don't concentrate you cannot understand anything so concentration is very important what i am telling concentrate don't think here and there just focus on board focus on board so you can understand each and every step if little you not understand problem in upper classes other classes 
so try to understand factorization factorization is very important if you don't know factorization you cannot solve SCF SNCM in which is in class 8 9 10 so factorization is very important so look at here next one question number D first of all I told you first and last we have to try to convert in the form of whole square then we have to convert in the form of 2ab so first one a whole one is square one is square means one okay last one 4a square so we can write 2a whole square 2 square means 4a square a square at the middle we have to write 2ab 2 from formula 2 from formula a b a means what is here 1 b means what is here 2 a so when you multiply this two, 2 into 2 it will be 4 but here is m maybe question is mistake uh, i'm going to write here a okay now now you can see here 1 square plus 2 into 1 into 2 a plus 2 a square this in the form of a square plus 2 a b plus b square in the place of a here is 1 in the place of b what is here 2 a so we can write here 1 plus 2 a whole square okay now look at here if common first of all we have to take common then only factorize or use formula but here nothing common we can convert first and last one in the form of whole square also so look at here uh, 4x square means 2x whole square we have to write 2 square means 4x square x square and last one in the place of 9y square we can write 3y whole square 3 square means 9y square y square at the middle we have to write 2ab 2a means what is here 2x 2x b means what is here 3y 3y now when you multiply this we get 12 only 2 2 is a 4 4 3 is a 12 x y x y now this is in the form of a square plus 2 a b plus b square this is the formula of a plus b whole square so in the place of a what is here 2x so 2x in the place of b what is here 3y 3y whole square hope you understand this question look at last number question number f and after that gh also First of all, first and last one convert in the form of whole square. So here x square y square, so we can write x y whole square. And at the last four is here, so we can write two whole square. Hope you understand up to here. Now at the middle, what we have to write two a b, two into x y. In the place of a, what is here x y. So x y we have to write down. In the place of b, what is here two. So two we have to write down. Now you can see here, this is in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square and the formula of a plus b whole square in the place of a what is here xy so we have to write xy plus in the place of b what is here 2 so 2 whole square a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square hope you understand up to question number f now look at next question number okay, question number g is here 3x square plus 54x plus 243 okay so here what is the common how to take common if you don't know take to common look at here how to take common if common first of all we have to take common then only factorize or convert into formula so here if you don't know how to take common this one we cannot convert in the form of whole square because 3 uh, root 3 mm, now look at here 3 is here 3 ones are 3 now next what is here 54 so just find out the factors 2 2's are 4 2 7's are 14 after that 3 9's are 3 3's are and next what is there 243 by 3 we have to divide this uh, 3 8 3's are 3 8's are 24 3 1's are 3 and after that 3 2's are 6 7 8 21 3 7's are 21 again 3 9's are 27 again 3 3's are 9 now what is the common look at here here is 3 here also 3 and here also 3 it means common is 3 here if common first of all we have to take common so what is remaining here 3 already common remaining x square so x square plus 3 into which number it will be 54 look at here 54 3 3's are 9 9 2's are 18 so what is we have to write 18 x this 3 3 already common so what is remaining here 3 into 3 9 9 2's are 18 plus this also same we have to do 3 already common 3 3's are 9 3 3's are 9 9 into 9 81 it means 3 into 81 is equal to 243 this already common so remaining 3 3 3 3 we have to multiply and we have to write which is remaining okay now can we convert this in the form of whole square yes x square is here 81 means 9 square 9 nines are 81 so we can write here x x square 
plus and last one in the place of 81 we have to write 9 whole square now at the middle what we have to write 2ab 2a means x b means 9 now 3 this is in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square formula of a plus b whole square in the place of a what is here x in the place of b what is here 9 so x plus 9 whole square x square plus 2x9 plus 9 square formula of x plus 9 whole square hope you understand this question how to take common we have to take common by finding factors now look at this one 18 48 32 what is the common first of all if you don't know how to take common directly you can see here 18 first of all find out the factors of 18 2 9 is 18 3 3 is 9 after that 48 is here 48 2 2 is 4 2 4 is 8 2 1 is 2 2 2 is 4 2 6 is 12 2 3 is 6 finding factor after that 32 is here 32 2 1 is 2 2 6 is 12 2 8 is 16 2 4 is 8 2 2 is 4 now what is the common here is 2 here is 2 here also 2 so 2 common into here is 3 under the 3 is here oh 3 is not common uh, 3 is not here so 3 is not common only 2 we can take here common 2 so we have to write here 3 and here 3 so only 2 common here so 2 we have to write here and what is remaining 2 into which number it will be 18 if you don't know you just what is here remaining 3 3 is a 9 so write down 9 x square because 2 already common so remaining numbers are 3 and 3 just multiply 3 into 3 9 plus 2 into which number it will be 48 if you have calculator just divide 48 divided by 2 if you don't have calculator just 2 already common so what is remaining here these numbers multiply 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 8 3 is a 24 so we have to write here 24 x plus now 32 look at here 2 already common so what is remaining 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 8 2 is a 16 so we have to write here 16 hope you understand this after this 2 we have to convert this first one and last one in the form of whole square so look at here 9x square means 3x whole square we can write 3 square means 9 x square means x square plus and last one 16 means 4 whole square 4 square means 16 so in the place of a what is here 3x in the place of b what is here 4 a square and here b square at the middle what we have to write on 2ab 2 a means what is here 3x so 3x b means what is here 4 so 4 now when you multiply this 2 3 is a 6 6 4 is a 24 we will get same okay now this is in the form of a square plus 2 a b plus b square formula of a plus b whole square so in the place of a what is here 3x so we have to write down 3x plus b in the place of b what is here 4 so we have to write 4 whole square a plus b whole square Hope you understand up to here. Now look at question number 2, last question number I and upcoming videos of question number 3. Look at here this one. X whole square first one convert in the form of square and last one. 1 by X whole square. 1 square means 1, X square means X square. Now at the middle we have to write 2AB. 2A means X, B means 1 by X. Because X and X cancel, 2 into 1, it will be 2. Now, this is in the form of A square plus 2AB plus B square. In the place of A, what is here? X. In the place of B, what is here? 1 by X. So, what we can write here? X plus 1 by X whole square. A plus B whole square. In the place of A, what is here? X. In the place of B, what is here? 1 by X. Uh, hope you understand this factorization which I took from exercise 1c question number 2 um, unit 8 algebra. If you are new on my channel, please uh, hit uh, the bell button so you will get notification of upcoming videos. Upcoming videos related with uh, question number 3 and this week I am going to teach you factorization which is taken from class 8, 9 and 10. It will be very helpful. Um, for you so this week just time teaching you factorization and if you have any question and if you want to uh, new videos uh, in on any topic uh, on my youtube channel please um, suggest me on comment thank you so much keep in touch have a great day